about Anna von Wrights and her assembly, but the, assemb the old illusion. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The assemblies are forming. I mean, you know, I know I talked about Anna von Wrights and her assembly, but, you know, there's other assemblies out there that are actually doing it the right way that don't have any underlying skeletons in their closet. And I advise people to really be careful, though, with which assembly they're going to go with. And, and really do your research because there are ploys out there, Mickey, that are trying to divide this state national stuff. But mm -hmm. I got to be realistic with everybody. That's, I mean, look at what we're living in right now. So there's, so David Strait is teaching a lot about this. Um, I know that the, the pastor Dave in, um, I think it's Yuba County, North, Car North California, Northern California, they too have started forming militias i know that bobby lawrence speaks on this a lot so there's probably just we all need to do our research and vet and share with each other what we what we feel like are uh, the best steps for changing our status and then and so just so everyone knows it's coming i know everyone's always like what do i do first i'm like don't worry we're laying the framework here we'll we'll come back with stuff that we've vetted but you've already gone through uh, one assembly and what what was your experience and do you mind sharing that back with us or yeah that's that's fine I, sh I shared it with Nick yesterday and the experience is is look there's something not right I'm not uh, and David will say the same thing about Anna von Wrights there's something not right when it comes mm -hmm. to her process she gets you to the fourth or fifth grade level which is you declare decree and then you're on the land and soil but yet she, there's no way that she keeps you protected when the water comes up and brings you back out into contract or commerce law. You don't hold dominion over that. So her process is flawed in a way where she gets you about a quarter of the way. Hmm. And she's got her own system, her own land recording system, so that the facto doesn't even see your, your repudiation of your U.S. citizenship or anything like that. So, and also, too, she makes you submit your birth certificate, which mm -hmm. then she's got access to all these birth certificates, and she's going around saying that she's the fiduciary over the trust that's coming back to our country, and she holds the fiduciary status over that, and then she's going to hand us out vendor cards to pay for our bills. To me, that sounds like a glorified socialism system. Okay. Why would you want someone, and she doesn't teach you how to become your own fiduciary or your own trust holder. David Strait teaches you how to be part of a group, but also your self-governing. He teaches you what, to, what it's like to be an independent state national as well, where you hold dominion over your trust. With Anna's process, you submit your birth certificate, and then she's coming out with these vendor cards that she controls. There's something, that's what I'm saying. There's something not right when it comes to that process. And the fact that she only gets you onto the land and then you have no ways of fighting through the air and water jurisdictions when needed, that's that's where I got tripped up with my court case. Yeah. Was because I was only on the land. That's why the cop was able to really mess with me. But it wasn't until I started studying David Strait and understanding how to take dominion over all three jurisdictions that I, I won my court case and it was and I wasn't even all the way through his process yet. It was the fact that I just learned what he does in court. So I'm not here to say anything bad about Anna Von Wrights, but there's just something not right when it comes to that process. There's something yeah. something Look, just, we're learning discernment and we all just need to use it. Use that discernment. So thank you for sharing your feedback. I think we should all continue to be open-minded, learn, and then share feedback. That's exactly what we should be doing. Um, if we don't communicate, then they tend to be more organized than we are, right? So this is, it's okay for us to be feeling around in the dark. Another thing is I get a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, why are you spanning so far from bonds into state nationalism? You're going to, you know, you're, you're going to lead the people to someplace where they can't defend themselves. And they're all going to be pulled over by police officers and thrown in jail. And I'm like, gosh, 
<laughs> we have no faith in the human race. I mean, these are people that are mandated for this role to set the you know captives free. They recognize their mandate in this moment in time. No one has to enter the courts. No one has to go stand up to the judge. Even if you declare or decree yourself as a state national, doesn't mean they're going to come like drag you to court tomorrow. No, you choose, pick and choose your battles. You're just declaring that you're a sovereign and that you're not an employee of the corporation. Now, another question that I started asking was, well, so when Trump dissolved the United States Inc. Corporation, did that mean that we're no longer citizens? Did that just set us all free in that process? And Bobby Lauren said today, no. But I still want to look into that. I still want to research that because how, let me just blow everyone's mind, right? So if the United States Inc. was a corporation, most corporations don't let its employees vote for its president. Everything that we witnessed in 2020 was an illusion. We never had the right to vote. They were always rigging it, always. We just didn't know. So usually it's the trustees or the board who votes for president of a corporation, or it's the uh, the shareholders or the members, aka members. Uh, yeah. So I found out that it was the Committee of Foreign Affairs who makes a decision of who our president is. So it was never us to begin with. And so some people say to me, "Well, if you become a state national, you don't get to vote anymore." I'm like, "You never voted." <laughs> never voted. Exactly. 